There's been more unrest in Israel after days of violence in Jerusalem. Hundreds of Palestinians have been wounded in clashes with Israeli security forces at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. On Monday, as the sun was setting, air raid sirens went off in Jerusalem after Hamas militants fired rockets into Israel, escalating tensions between the two sides. An Israeli army spokesman later said its military carried out airstrikes on Hamas targets in response. The city has been seeing its worst violence in years since the beginning of the Muslim fasting month of Ramadan more than three weeks ago. The latest round was sparked after Israel imposed restrictions on gathering at a traditional Ramadan meeting place. They were later lifted. But the threatened evictions of Palestinians from longtime homes in East Jerusalem has led to further protests. For more on this, we're joined by our correspondent in Jerusalem, Alisa Adenheimer. Alisa, thank you so much for being here. So to start, can you please tell us what is causing this flare up in violence? Well, in the past few days, um, there's been a lot of unrest. There's a number of possible reasons for it. Um, but from time to time, there are flare ups and it might not be specifically connected to any to any one event. Uh, there's a court case regarding some families in East Jerusalem. Uh, there's a Jewish group that uh, claims ownership of the houses that they're living in and uh, in a civil suit is, is wanting to uh, evict them. And this has also caused uh, unrest. And what do you think is likely to happen next following this? Well, uh, I hope, and I think that, that most people hope that things will calm down. We have had incidents like this in the past where, where violence flares. And then after a few days, things calm down. And, and I hope that that's what will happen this time. However, it is possible that the violence will spread to other parts of Israel, and, um, and, and it has spread a bit. Uh, in the north, overnight, there were riots in, uh, in the northern city of Haifa as well. And so I hope it won't, but it's possible that the violence could spread to other parts of, of Israel and the West Bank. So, Lisa, could you please tell us a little bit about the site where this violence is happening? This is a temple that's significant for both religions. Um, and is it a place where we usually see unrest? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, there has been unrest there in the past as well. It's a site that's holy for both Muslims and Jews. Uh, for Muslims, it's the third holiest site. Uh, and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which you may have heard of, is located there. Uh, for Jews, it's the site of uh, the ancient temples, and uh, it's the holiest uh, site in the world for Jews. Um, Jews are not allowed to pray on the site. However, they are allowed to visit the site. Uh, Muslims do have full access uh, to the site. Uh, often, uh, when there is unrest, it, it is touched off uh, by events that happened there. Um, during the night, last night, uh, um, protesters stockpiled rocks. And then in the morning when um, police tried to come up, they were met with a barrage of rock throwing. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune into our 24 7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.